So how do you feel now, a month after you've had your child? Do you feel back to normal? Do you feel... I feel like a mum, that makes sense. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. You feel different in yourself? Um... It's a bit weird talking to her up there, but... <laughs> Um, She'll eventually come down. She's been a monkey though. <laughs> um, did, I don't know, do you think I'm different? I see it as you've grown more... I see it as, like, not in a, not, I don't mean this in an offensive way at all. I see it as you've grown more mature. That's what Becky said. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's completely right though. I see it as you've grown more, like, you've grown more mature and it's like... You had responsibilities before, but now like it's a completely different, yeah. a completely different situation. But I think you've just you've just took it on, like in in your stride. Like it's not, you know what I mean? Like it's come real it's natural to you. Person, <clears throat> I say, well, no. I, I say your personality and stuff is still the same. It's just, I mean, it's like for me though. I I don't. I'm a mum, of course, but like yeah. I don't, in personality wise, I'm still the same as I was yeah. before. See, I can't compare you to, I didn't really know you well before. Wow. Well. <laughs> I compared to what you was like before. You used to just ask your sister or, 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 or our friends. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all good. But no, like, I think personality stayed the same, but maturity and responsibilities have grown, like, twice over. And I, I, I see it as this, because you've had more responsibilities than that. And I see it as, like, for you it's just come natural, like, it's not... Like, you're still... Yeah, the, like, it's, good, it's a good thing that you stayed the same person as you are, but, like, everybody could see you've, you've got responsibilities now and that you've taken it on so well, like, it's... So. <laughs> well, yeah, everybody can see how you are with Freya. Everybody knows that you're good with her. I hope I am. To, to take it from me, I've got my daughter two, two years and eight months and I've done well, so. I see it as you'll be just, like, not, obviously not the same as me, but you know what I mean? Like, I see it as you'll be, you know, you'll be, you'll be your own mum, if that makes yeah, any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you and I will have different parenting, like, ideas and, and skills and stuff like that, but I see it as you'll, you'll be, you'll be a good mum in your own way, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Right. Life goals. <laughs> yes. My turn now. Yeah, is your life different from when you before and after you had Eva? I, d I mean, I don't know, because I see it as like between you and I, because we had totally different births. I see it as for me, it was more of like having Eva through section. It was more of a scary thing, because it was like mm. it, it it was. It was very much like a life and death situation sort of thing because I, I had to have it for emergency. Yeah. So like, it, I mean, all it. Why was, was it emergency like, though? Was it over? Was she overdue? Oh yeah, I didn't okay. have either till. How much? How much overdue was she? I was almost two weeks. I was like. Oh right. Forty-one plus six. Oh right. Okay. And I was like, I went in on a Saturday night, and I had her the following Sunday at quarter past five in the afternoon. Oh, a okay. Bit a, a bit of a good time, actually, really, because like the visiting times were from six to eight, so I had her like forty-five minutes. Yeah. Before everybody else come in, and everyone was just like, "Oh, look, baby!" and yeah. But I was, I was very much still on my epidural. Like, don't get me wrong, it's, it, it doesn't make. How was your epidural? Because I've heard bad things about epidurals. Sorry. I've heard bad things about epidurals. Like, how was um, yours? It was for for me, like the the way the labour was going, it wasn't progressing and I got, I, th I think basically Eva's head got stuck. Um, yeah, Freya's nothing, head got stuck, that's why I took so long. Yeah, and nothing like, it wasn't, see even the nurses and the midwives were saying like, it's, it's not going to progress any further than it's got, so it's time to think of different options to maybe like get some rest and just continue on and keep going. But in the end, it was like. When you mean her head got stuck, though, because hang on, when, cause you had a C-section, or was that yeah, all before um, this? Um, oh yeah, before. Right. Before okay. Life. Okay. Um, what it was is like I got to seven centimeters. Like I wanted a water birth and everything. I got to seven centimeters, and that was fine. And then at that point, there was no break between contractions, and I was just in constant pain, that, and I'd had no sleep. That was what I was like. And, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, do you know, what, like you know what I mean? Like, there was no. Yeah. No break, and it's yep. just like it got it got too much yep. because yep. I had no sleep the night before because I was in like I was in like 
a lot longer in labour than you was, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. And it's just like, I had no rest the night before. Everything started and stopped. Like, there was a huge difference, like a huge time period between everything starting and stopping. It was just, it was mad. Yeah. But yeah, I ended up getting to seven centimetres. Everything got stuck. See, they never told me, like, what, how much, like, what centimetres I was. They didn't tell me any of that, so I don't know. Really? They didn't tell you anything? That's awful. I didn't think I was really bothered, I just wanted to go and dump yeah. it. <laughs> Get no, this thing what, out. Yeah, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Um, but no, like, she she got stuck at, like, seven centimetres, and they was like, because my waters hadn't broken at that point, so I was just like, right, well, we'll break your waters, seeing if it progresses more and gets keeps going. Um, but they ended up doing that, and from seven centimetres, I went back down to four. Oh. So, yeah, oh. I how that happened. Oh. It did. And that's how she got stuck. Basically, yeah. Okay. Um, after that, they wanted to do... They did tests on her head while she was still inside. Okay. Which was a bit scary for me. But I'm glad they did, because when they did, they found out that she's her oxygen levels were getting really, really low. Right. Like, even though she's still connected... Yours to sounds bad. Y yeah. <laughs> um, I thought mine was bad. <laughs> it was... Well, she, basically, her oxygen levels were really low, and I think... I was never told really why, but I think it's because her cord got trapped around her neck, I'm okay. guessing. And, okay. I, and obviously that's quite dangerous, yeah. so it was, as soon as they found that out, it was very much 10 minutes and that was it. I was back, I was into theatre already, like, it's, like, here's the thing, like, it's not like I didn't have a choice, because I did. However, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't a choice, like, I wanted to, and no matter what happened to me, it was more like... Yeah. Do everything for her. Yeah, and yeah. I don't care yeah. What, how worse off I've yeah. been through it. I could have been in hospital for months and yeah. I still wouldn't have cared as long as yeah. she was safe. But I mean, at the end of the day, that's. Would you recommend a C section? Emergency or not? Um, <laughs> I think I wouldn't have an elective one. I will, I will be completely honest. I would never have an elective one because it is major surgery and the recovery time is. It is quite long and it's like. I, I mean, if they I normally was, say six weeks. Yeah, but it's the the pain still sort of lingers on for a bit longer. Yeah, like it's dull pain, but it's pain in itself. Yeah, yeah. It's just like it's not, it doesn't go away. <laughs> but no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend one. But if obviously through emergency, absolutely. Like there, there is for me, there was no choice. Obviously, because like if if not, could you I'm, go through it again? Like. If Could I you? had to, if I had to, like, if I had to do emergency again, without a doubt, without a doubt, no question in my mind, I would do it all again. Absolutely. All again. <laughs> but then again, it's just like, that's what all parents do. I mean, I know you say my birth sounds a bit bad, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's still a birth and it doesn't make Well, me... yeah, yeah. I know some people say, well, because you've had a section, you've had it easy, it doesn't make you as good as everybody else because you're not a bad thing, is I've heard that. I've heard people say, oh, because you've had a C section, it doesn't mean you're a mum. It's like, no. what? No, because it's, it's completely different. At the end yeah, of the, the same, day, yeah, but it's the same thing, isn't whether it? You, whether you have a baby naturally yeah. or you have them through C section, you've still given birth yeah. to that baby. Yeah. Through C section, you've just you've carried have it for nine, to You've do carried it for nine months. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't make that child any less yours. And yeah. It doesn't make it doesn't make anyone say that you don't love that child any less. Cause yeah. Abs you absolutely do. So it's just like when everybody says having a section means that you're less of a mum than everybody else because you had a section because you took it out the easy road. But it's just like most C sections nowadays aren't elective and they're more emergency. So it's just like not a lot of women really get a choice. Yeah. However. Obviously, through circumstances, they would rather have a section and make sure their child is okay rather than not, and obviously have their child maybe possibly pass away. And that's, yeah, that is something that I would, I would never, I would never make a decision to a point where I would not want to have yeah. an emergency section. Yeah, because the alternative is just yeah. To me, it's it doesn't bear thinking about. Like it's not, it's not even. Not even a thing, and I mean, then again, any parent would do would do that exactly yeah. the same in the same yeah. situation. It's just like, even if you had to have a section, like you would have done exactly the same as what I've done. Like it, I mean, emergency or elective. Yeah. Like I, I wouldn't have liked it, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing an elective because it, it it's it's a painful thing. It's it's major surgery. Like, would you on gas and air or anything? Yeah. Okay. 
had gas and air and I had... Did it work? The gas and air did. I mean, initially I wanted a Whitworth and I was in the pool till I got to seven centimetres and it was all good. But then I was really tired and I was falling asleep in the pool. That's not a good thing. Yeah, that's thing. not a good thing. No, they, no, no. they say not to. But no, they basically recommended me getting out. And initially my, you know, when everyone says make a birth plan and everything, it, most birth plans these days, it never goes. It never goes to plan. Yeah. So just like... <laughs> Mine didn't go to plan at I, all. I see it like this. For anybody that's like watching or on Elena's channel or on mine, if, if any of you are pregnant, like don't don't worry about birth plans. Don't don't panic yourself about stuff like that. Because most of them never go to plan anyway. Just just go about things the way you want to go about things. And as long as like in my case obviously emergency happened, but like as long as everything's natural and it happens the way sort of the way you want it, then I'm all for it. Like, if I, if I could have had my daughter naturally, honestly, I would. Mm. There would be no question in my mind. But it's just like, even it's like one of those things. Like, even if you have a section, it, it doesn't make you any less of a parent. Like between between me and Elena, like we're we're both parents. We had different births, but we're still both parents. We still yeah. gave birth, but yeah. just in different ways. Yeah. And I and I take it as this. I take it down a funny route. I say to people, like, no, she didn't come out the door, she came out of sunroof. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I take it as that. See, because it's like, if you think of it in a negative way, you're always going to be upset by it. But I've learned to, I've learned to take it in a good way to where it's now more positive. Yeah. So I see it as, like, any birth is all positive, and it's just like, you know... Things happen for a reason at the end of the day. And obviously, I'm glad that things turned out okay for me. And I'm so overly happy that things turned out okay for Elena because I know she was worried. But baby Freya arrived and everything was all good. Was it not? Yay! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yeah, it's like you get Xbox achievement. Have a child. <laughs> Hopefully, our journeys aren't done just yet. And Mine is. Little. You think you only want one? Yes. Really? Yes. You can honestly say that, only one? Yes. Honestly? Oh, okay, can you have any more? Me? I would... Yeah, I would want more. I'm not going to lie, I love babies. But yeah, I would want more. Obviously not right now, God no. Because I'm still, I'm still nowhere near ready for that, but... Not for another year or so, I think. For if, you? If. Yeah, for you. If. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's good though. See, for me, I'd have to wait a bit longer because of the section thing and mm. I have to make sure I'm all, I'm all good and healed. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> but no, f for you, like, I see it as this. You can do it any time. If you wanted to, you do it any time. If you wanted to, we'll see. But no, I, I see it. It's just adding. It's just adding more love. We'll see. In a good way. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. If you could pick any YouTuber to spend a day with, who would it be, and why? Pete Jams. Pete Jams. Pete Jams. And what kind of YouTuber is he? Is he? Is he a gamer? He's, is he a vlogger? He's a is vlogger he... and musician. Musician. He's oh, a, right, that's, cool. that's, musician. Cool. that's cool. If I could spend a day with any YouTuber, obviously apart from Elena here, uh, if I could, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if I could, if I could spend a day with any YouTuber, it would be, it would be Afmel. Uh, for I've those, Afmel is a gamer. Okay. She she's also a parent of two, a boy and a girl. Like. She's a vlogger as well. She does. She does. She doesn't vlog all the time, but she's a vlogger as well. Um, she's more Minecraft gaming. Now that you've got a kid, well, even when you had a kid, do you, have, yeah. do you find it hard to vlog? Because I find it hard to vlog. In I, between, that's why I. Yeah. Have, that's why my, my videos are monthly or every two months. Because yeah. it's hard to see, find time to vlog. See for me because like and, and edit and whatnot. There's a huge age gap. Uh, like there's a big age gap well, between yeah. Freya and, yeah. and Eva, my daughter. Um, so like Eva still goes for naps, so she'll go from like half one in the afternoon till like three thirty four. So like between them times, or like because she goes to nursery as well, so like I can vlog then, I yeah. can vlog on the naps, and I can vlog when she goes to bed at night. I think that's why you should then do it more. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's just like I don't think anybody wants to see lots more of this. <laughs> Anime? Are you good with that? No. no, really, you don't like anime. Oh my god, Elliot guys! Does, but I can't get into guys, it. Guys, tell her to like anime. Tell her, tell her. No, <laughs> no. See, I watch your channels. I watch your videos. Yeah, see, guys, like, see, she says she says I don't watch hers, but like, I mean, come on, of course I do. Um, I have like, a funny feeling we're being watched. <laughs> 
Yeah. But like the kids over there. Yeah, guys. <laughs> oh, oh. Guys, like, can you see? Are we being watched? There's kids over there. Yeah. I've got a feeling they would be <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh well, we're, we're, we're just vlogging, it's fine, it's fine. It doesn't even matter, it doesn't even matter, who cares? How did you feel about announcing your pregnancy? To um, everybody, not just like on YouTube, but like to everyone. Like to your family, to, to friends and stuff. Like, okay, I remember when she told me and I pretty much just hugged her to death. <laughs> because I, I wanted that so bad for her. So. I think they was expecting it because they knew we were trying anyway. Yeah, um, but like they weren't expecting it to I, happen any time. I told like them on the soon. phone. That's how I told. It was really? on the. It was on the. It wasn't even in person. It was on the phone because I was. They was out. I don't know where I was. I think I was at home. Yeah. It, I must have been at home. Yeah. And they was out. Everyone was out, but me and Elliot. And I thought yeah. I tried to get through to my nan first, and mm. she didn't answer. And it was Jamie, my brother Jamie. Yeah, I told him first, and he, oh, Jamie's not really a big baby person, so he was just like, oh, okay, cool. And then Jill was like, oh my god. <laughs> It was all on the phone, so it wasn't even in person. Yeah. It wasn't until it wasn't until they saw me afterwards. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, it was all right. Yeah. But no, so like, okay. Apart, apart from Elliot, who was like the first person to know? Him? Jamie. I think then. it was Jamie. Yeah. It was either Jamie or Jordan. I think it was Jamie. My brother Jamie. Yeah. yeah. But he wasn't. He's not a baby person. So he was just. He's just like yeah. Okay. See, I'm so <laughs> glad she got to announce hers in the best way because I never did. I what? never I never put that I was on Facebook or anything like that until she was born. It was more of a surprise to everybody, so it was just like I never announced. I think it. I think everyone was shocked because not everyone knew we were trying. Yeah. I think everyone on Facebook was like, oh my god. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean like see here's yeah. the thing. Before Pers friends and family were like all person yeah, all personally it. it's like we, like I yeah. knew before she announced it yeah. and I was just like I was so happy and yeah. I was just like but everyone else please when you yeah. find out what you're having <laughs> tell me because like, for people that knew me like personally knew me and everything like they obviously they knew because like you can't hide something like that but like in, in, in terms of people that didn't know me and like on Facebook and stuff I very much had like not because it was meant to be kept as a secret not because I wanted to keep it as a secret but because I wanted it to be a little bit more like a little bit more private for me yeah and it's just like when everyone saw it like it was very much as soon as she was born it was like gone up in lights and it was just yeah. like she's here guys yeah. and it's just like <laughs> oh my god I didn't even know you was pregnant I didn't even know this and it, how did you get the name Eva who decided oh on that god. one how, where um, did Eva come from uh I think it was okay so here's the thing like it wasn't like I didn't really pick that name I didn't really pick any name so like I'm not saying I picked something different and yeah. I got forced into naming of that because that yeah. that's not the case yeah it was very much my my mum's sort of pick okay. like the thing is though as soon as she had said it it very much Clicked. stuck it just yeah. it was like yeah that's that's so her like yeah. that is even though she wasn't there at the time but like you know what I mean like yeah so you could you could name your bump anything but it's just like for me yeah. as soon as I had a name that yeah. was it like that was her yeah that was a friend like it yeah. wasn't just I'm, I'm carrying a girl now I'm carrying my daughter and she's called Eva yeah. so like there was a big difference but yeah it, it was more of a my mum's pick and and I will say her dad but but no more okay. more, more of a more of a mum's pick so okay. like so how did you come across the name Freya then? Elliot, a marble half, he picked it, um, and it's he, yeah. has, he has a thing. He's he has a thing called Greek sort of thing, and yeah. it's a Norse god. The name Freya comes from. So if you didn't, oh right, oh it's really? It's a Norse god. Yeah. So he picked it, and he didn't think I was going to like it at first, but no, oh, right. it, it, same with you, it clicked straight away. Yeah. I'm gonna have to love and leave you. Yeah, guys, um, we'll do this again. Yes, like, we'll, we'll do try. this again. We'll yeah. try. Mum life. <laughs> <laughs> or sim life. Yeah. Oh my god! We, next video, what I'm gonna do is because I'm gonna bring back, I'm gonna do a Sims 3 series. Next video, she's gonna do Sims with me. Okay. Yeah, yeah okay. we'll totally do that. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah, do a Sims 3 series. We'll bring that, that out. That'd be, that'd be, be another, so. on your channel then. Exactly. That'd be fantastic. Cool. But like, it, for the Sims thing, it's more of a voice thing. You'll hear her. Yeah. She's very much there. She's gonna be real. <laughs> but it's. Yeah. We'll try and That's do cool. like a. We'll yeah. try and do like a quick tiny video sort of thing before maybe. I've been my camera. Yeah. Well, yeah. we could we could do like a quick few minute video yeah. just to say like, hey guys, yeah. we're doing some yeah. stuff. We'll get onto it, and, <laughs> and yeah, it'll be very much like a yeah. We'll do Sims three video. Hopefully, I'm gonna get Sims four back soon, guys. I don't know when, but it's very much a thing. It's broken, <laughs> unfortunately. Right, we'll end it there. Yeah. 
Bye guys. Thank you for watching. Go subscribe. The links down below. Yeah, keep subscribing to her as well, guys. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. Be fun. Bye. Thank you. For Thank you. My channel. You're, you're very welcome. Yeah, I'm. She's gonna say the same when she comes on mine, but you're very welcome. I'm. I'm happy doing this. This is. This is fun to me. Bye. It's, a bit, it's very much new, so. Yeah. Bye Bye guys. How did you find vlogging before we go? Leave it there. Oh, uh, How did you find it? Weird, but good. Yeah. Weird, but good. Would you do it again? Yes. Okay. Good. Absolutely. Good. That's what we'd like to hear. Life goal! Yeah! Oh my god, that is such a good thing. We're gonna have to say that in every video we do. Yeah. Bye! Bye guys!